What is going on guys? My name is Caddy and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. And before we go any further into this video, as always we are going to plug the Battle Hub Discord server so I'll link to that in the description below. And whilst you're at it, why don't you give us a follow on Twitter at Demonic Golfer where you will find out what what upcoming battles I've got to, uh, coming to my channel because I do preview thumbnails. So yeah. And also guys, I do apologise, I know it's been a week since my last upload, but um, I've been really busy with work, and I managed to record two matches on the Sunday, and we are now on to Wednesday, and I'm already just getting around to recording this commentary. Oh well. So anyway, right into this battle. So we are against um, a brand new uh, battler today, he goes by the name of Vond Zentz, uh, that sounds Dutch that, but um, I do apologise though, I do butcher your name guy. My yeah, my friend and um, yeah he is actually from that battle hub discord server so yeah that is the best way to try and get battles with me uh, um, guys so um, yeah we're, we're just having a battle here no, uh, I just said to him bring whatever you want and yeah so um, I really wanted to get this Reggie Drago team to work because I uh, I think Reggie Drago is such an underrated Pokemon uh, it's not like Regilecki which is overrated but you know what we're going to try and make this work so he's going to lead off with um, a sand slash the Cantonian sand slash which is very very interesting I'm leading off with my frost last because yeah whatever so um, I'm going to be um, taunting something so he's obviously going to switch out so we're going to, he brings in Polygon 2 and we do f see that it, it is um, download and not trace which is you know good, good knowledge so we're going to taunt this Polygon 2 makes the weirdest noise ever when it gets taunted so um, now it's taunted it has no uh, choice but to attack so we are going to um, throw, start throwing spikes up and uh, yeah I'm going to see um, what happens here so we're going to get the first layer of spikes up um, he's going to go for the ice beam which kind of tells me that he's probably got nothing else for me he's probably, he's probably got try attack and obviously that does not affect her frost last because I'm part ghost so Milady set out another set layer of um, spikes and he's going to go for the ice beam again so uh, yeah, that's fine I'm, I'm quite happy to stay in and uh, yeah um, no more ice beams for you um, but it does shake off the taunt so I do make a slight misplay here I do do, do think about going for the taunt but I decided to go for the third layer of spikes when really I should have gone for the taunt because as you will see guys um, after my third layer of spikes he's actually going to thunder wave my frost lass uh, not much of an issue but you know I, I kind of want to destiny bond something yeah, you know it, it does help so looking at my options I do not want to stay in I kind of want to preserve this frost lass um, and I'm looking, I don't know what to switch in, so we're just going to um, bring in uh, Galade as a, you know, for a type advantage. So, as you know guys, this Galade is not the um, original Galade, it's the um, my special defensive Galade with Power Fusion and Knock Off and um, Drain Punch with the leftovers. And We've got steadfast ability because all its other abilities are not really for defensive pokes. So, yeah, this is this Rotom wash. I remember it gave me so much grief. Oh god. So anyway, I know the Will Wisp is coming, but I'm just going to stay in regardless because I'm not that type of Galade. So I've, I've just hit. Um, what did I hit? So I think I hit knock off. Yeah. So we're going to knock off. Uh, whatever this um, Rotom is holding and now it was a citrus berry so at least I know it's not scarfed so um, so we're going to confuse Ray something um, he's going to volt switch out which, you know, which is fine because I am specially defensive and um, whatever's going to come in is going to get um, confused and that Pokemon is Super Saiyan 3! No, that's Dragon Ball Z. No, Sand Slash. You know what? That's not the worst one to be, um, to confuse. So, you know, I like the animation of Confuse Ray, it's pretty cool. So, 
I can't thunder wave this because well obviously it's immune to thunder wave so you know what it's going to try and take advantage of um, of this sand slash being confused and that it might go for stealth rocks um, we are going to switch in the uh, Reggie Drago in, and you know this guy, this this set guys. It's Reggie Drago. It's leftovers, adamant nature with Dragon Dance substitute, Scale Shot, and Thunderfang. Uh, you might ask why have I got Thunderfang? Because Toga Case is a thing. Um, so we're bringing in Reggie Drago safely. I'm hoping you go for rocks, but no, you go for the knockoff, and that. Well, I've got no more leftovers now, so um, well, that was a bit of a shame. So, but we, you know what? We're, we're going to try this now. We're going to we're, we're going to sub up right now, and hopefully you're going to hurt yourself in confusion. Can you hurt yourself in confusion, please. No, you're going to wrap a spin. You know that's fine because I'm pretty sure wrap a spin can't burn my sub, which it doesn't. Um. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance now, so we're going to be in plus one in attack and speed. And bearing in mind, these skill shots are going to hit quite hard because thanks to um, Dragon's more ability, you know, powers up Dragon type moves. So yeah. So we do get a Dragon Dance up, which is fine. And it snaps out of confusion, which, you know, that confused way was just a bit, a bit of a waste. Um, I take the earthquake, the substitute disappears, and this is where I attack. I've got to attack, or else I'm going to lose this Ready Drago, and it's going to fail again. All I just want is one kill. If I get one kill with this Ready Drago, you know that's a win for me. And this, and you'll be seeing this battle right now, right, right now, guys. So we do get a skill shot off. We get a crit on the first one. So that's two. That's three. We need one more. And we got it. We beat a, it's a sand slash, but you know what? We beat a Pokemon with skill shot, Ready Drago, and I'm happy. Um, obviously, because skill shot does drop defenses and boosts speed at the same time. We are, we are now actually plus two in speed, plus one attack, and minus one in defense. But because uh, Ready Drago's defenses are yeah, mediocre at best, it's mainly the HP stat that does it. Um, it doesn't really matter. So out comes the uh, Polygon 2 and I'm thinking I've got no more leftovers. You know what, sod this. Wait, wait, I'm going to see what this does. Um, scale shot. So, one. Two. Three. We hit three times and it does half, it does, you know, pretty much half of a Polygon 2's health. So maybe if I got four, maybe if I got five, the whole five, I probably would have took it out. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I got a crit in one of them, it would have took out a Polygon too. So you know what? You know, Reggie Drago did okay. Um, would I use it again? Oh yeah, definitely. I think Reggie Drago is really, really fun to use. So we're going to send out this um, Trust Banded Metagross I've got right here. So looking at my options. Um, I can't go for Bullet Punch because Serena is hanging around. Um, Rotom Wash resists Meteor Mash. So Zen Headbutt is the absolute 100% play. So in comes the um, Polygon 2. No, out goes the Polygon 2. In comes Rotom Wash. Um, Zen Headbutt it. That is a solid 2 at KO. Now I do have second thoughts about this because I know Rotom. Rotom Rotom Wash <coughs> um, naturally outspeeds a Metagross, but if it's a defensive Rotom Wash, um, then I will outspeed. But I am about to not take that chance because I do not want my Metagross to be burned. Because I do feel now that Richard Drago is gone, that this Metagross will be my is my win con for this battle. So I want to um, keep my Metagross pretty safe. So I'm going to bring in uh, Galade. In case he just covered the burn, but you know, it goes for the pain split, so it, it is a defensive Rotom, so I probably would have outsped, but I just not taking that chance. Good, because I was so afraid of the Will O Wisp coming. So it, it did kind of play me right there, so I do, I do, I do, you know, give you a big round of applause for uh, playing me there, uh, my, my guy. 
and um, so I can't actually remember what I go for now. So he go for, goes for the vault switch, and um, I, I I think I go for the drain punch for um, for a bit of health. But because I'm burned, I'm not going to get a lot out of this. So I maybe should have gone for a knockoff. Actually, yeah, I should I should have 100% gone for the knockoff. So in comes the um, Serena. Um, yeah, I do go for a drain punch. I should have knocked off. Damn it. I should have known that Rotom was never ever going to stay in. Okay, okay, I kind of misplayed that that one as well. Oh, this is this battle. It's, been, it's a decent battle, but I've misplayed a few times in this battle. Uh, right. So we're going to Thunder Wave. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get taken out here because I am not built in defense. I am built in special defense, so. And Serena is a physical attacker, so. U turn? Yeah, that's probably going to take me out. Oh, yeah, it definitely does take me out. So that's delayed gone. And my opponent has got the upper hand in this battle. And that Rotom. I can't say it. Rotom Wash is giving me proper grief. Speak of the devil, it's right there. It is giving me. So much hassle. Uh, I'm looking at my options and I, I don't know. I was like, my remaining mons can't really deal with this Rotom Wash. So, for some unknown reason, I sent out uh, Frostlass. Um, I've got. Just don't ask me why, guys. I've got absolutely no answer to why I've done this. So I'm just going to hit Destiny Bond, and I'm thinking I'm not going to outspeed. No way. Vault switch, that's a dead frost last. I 100% wasted that turn. So I am now down to three mons. I've got the Quagsire, the Togekiss, and the Metagross. I've got a Metagross that's shit scared of a Will O' Wisp from a, a Rotom Wash. I've got a Togekiss that's um, weak to Rotom Wash. And we've got a Quagsire who's not built a special defense against a special attacking um, Rotom Wash. So, you know, in short. The mini mons are scared of rot on wash. We're scared of a washing machine. And oh, right, in anyway, back to battle. Here comes this Meta Metagross, Heracross, who is guts. And we're going to send out um, Specs Togekiss. So I'm not scared of this Heracross. The fact that I've kept Togekiss in the back is really good. So I'm going to air slash it, and we're going to see what this Heracross is going to do. Right. It goes for the facade. Okay, that's gonna hurt. But well, I think we, we can live it. We can live it. So take the air slash and uh, die. And that's Heracross down. I was kind of a bit scared of Heracross, but when I saw it, it was good. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And at least it's not Swords Dance. Swords Dance Moxie. Or Scarfed Moxie. Uh, if it was a Scarf Terracross, I think I would have probably lost this battle already. So in comes the Rotom Wash, and this Rotom. This this Mon. Uh, right, okay, we're going to send in the Quagsire, because... Vault Switch is probably is most likely a thing. Um, Metagross is definitely not a play, because he's probably going to burn it. Um, but... So we're going to send out, huh? And he, he actually predicts that and goes for the hydro pump. And you know that's a good prediction. And that's a two-eight KO. So I'm hoping for a miss here because I know the hydro pump is coming again. And um, we're, we're going to yawn. And I want you to miss, please miss. And uh, no, you don't miss. Great. So yeah, all, all, all these Pokemon have got top marks in. Um, in the eye tests um, in this battle, you know, I don't think he's missed anything yet. I mean, to be honest, I haven't missed anything yet. So in comes the Metagross. Um, at, it was at this point I was still unsure if I was if I outsped, so I just went for the Zen Headbutt because I've got nothing pretty much now. So I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt. Um, maybe hoping for a crit as well if I can outspeed. And yeah, it's, it is at this point that I do actually realise that I, out, that I um, outspeed. And all them turns ago when I had Metagross in against Rot Rotom Wash, 
if I just stayed in and took out the Rotom Wash with another Zen Headbutt at that point, it would have made this like this battle so much easier for me. My life should be way more easier, but no, I don't take out the Rotom Wash. It burns my Metagross, and that just utterly ruins my Metagross. Oh, great! Because I know exactly what's going to happen. Oh no! I wait. I have speed, so um, I'm I'm literally crying into my uh, into my hands right now because my Metagross is burned. It is possibly my only. It is actually my win con because um, well, Needle King is hanging around and Tolly Kiss can't really do anything to a Needle King. Um, oh god, oh god. What what um what Pokemon's he got left? Rot on Wash, Serena, Needle King, and something else. I want to say Porygon Two. Yeah, it's Porygon Two. So yeah, Zen Headbutt, just to take out this Rotom Wash, what, what a pain, but such a good Pokemon, what a pain what Rotom Wash is. You can tell why it was very OU um, back in the days of um, X and Y and Oras, such a pain in the ass. Um, but anyway, who's going to come in, I'm um, Ducklon, that's a Porygon 2. So how long have we got left? We've got about three minutes left in this uh, video. So yeah, we're in its dying numbers now. So I'm thinking it's going to recover. If I, I, I can't take out, I can't take out this um, Polygon Two for that range. It's just going to recover. It's hundred percent going to recover. But I've got no other option. So I mean, it's pretty amazing. That I've hit all my Zen headbutts. So. And yeah, he recovers. Oh, uh, it's getting a bit stally, but it's fine. He's doing all the correct plays. You know, I would have done exactly the same thing. But you know, remember, we are on a 20-minute timer here, which sucks major balls. But whatever. So anyway, guys, whilst we are waiting, we um, we I'm going to plug. Uh, the next video it is actually the third battle in the battle hub league we are against asteroid desu and if you do follow me on twitter um i really love the thumbnail i've done for that i've got asteroids intellion and my car being just perfectly oh if you haven't seen it guys you'll see it uh, when um when i upload the video so um anyway i'm gonna plug that make sure you watch it guys it's a pretty cool battle um, if I do say so myself, uh, I'm not going to spoil the result. So, yeah, so this Polygon 2 is back at full health. I've had no choice but to bring in this Togekiss Kiss, and yeah, I decided to let Togekiss Kiss go here. So, uh, we are down to my last Pokemon, that is the uh, Metagross. He has still got four left, I think. No, three left, I took out the Rotom. So Metagross, who's burned, um, we got three minutes left of this battle, so you know what, it's pretty much gone the distance, so it's been a really good battle guys, um, big ups to my opponent, you know, I hope we do bat we do battle each other again, you know, it was fun, um, and uh, we're going to go for the Meteor Mash, because I've, I've, I've got nothing to lose here, and I went for the Meteor Mash because it's more powerful than a Zen Headbutt. So, this burn is going to cripple me. So, I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, yeah, I can probably take out oh, the Paragon 2 from that range with the Meteor Mash. And I know Meteor Mash does boost something, but I can't remember what it is. I think it's the um, it's either attack or defense. And we don't take it out! This Polygon 2. But this Polygon 2 wasn't really much of an issue. It was a Rotom Wash. And we got to go down to a burn. Oh, uh, what, what, what a way to go. So, anyway, that's GG's. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.